Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. We're on our 26th day of Hidden Figures, and as you can probably hear, there is more banging and clanging outside. Please bear with me. Today's Hidden Figure is Dr. April Erickson Jackson, who is an aerospace engineer at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, in the Guidance, Navigation, and Control Center. She was the first African-American female to receive a PhD in mechanical engineering from Howard University, and the first African-American woman to receive a PhD in engineering Engineering at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. She has worked at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center as an aerospace engineer for over five years and has taught at both Howard University and Bowie State University. Woo woo, Bowie State. In 1996 and 97, Erickson Jackson was named one of the top 50 minority women working in the science and engineering fields by the National Technical Association. Erickson Jackson was born in Brooklyn, New York, the oldest of four daughters. Raised in the bed neighborhood in the Roosevelt Projects, it did not take long for Erickson, Erickson Jackson excuse me, to realize that she had an aptitude for mathematics and science. While she was in her last year at Marine Park Junior High School, she won second place in the science fair and scored in the 90s on all her regent and citywide exams. Regents. I'm glad I never had to take Regents. In junior high, she won second place in the science fair, played on the girls' basketball team, and was a member of the science club, honors club, and school band. Although she passed all entrance exams for New York's technical high schools, she chose to move to Cambridge, Massachusetts to live with her grandparents and attend the Cambridge School of Weston. There, she continued to earn high honors and played basketball and softball for both the Cambridge School of Weston teams and the Citywide League. During the summer, between her junior and senior years, she was accepted into the UNITE, now called MITE, Minority Introduction to Engineering Entrepreneurship and Science Program, that introduces promising minority high school juniors to, as the program's name indicates, engineering, science, and entrepreneurship. Later that year, she also became a volunteer physical education instructor for the Cambridge Elementary Schools. Dr. April Erickson graduated high school with top honors and attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, where she was involved in several research projects with the Applied Physics Laboratory that included the development of a fiber optic laser gyroscope and the creation of a database for EVA, I don't know what EVA stands for, it doesn't say here, neutral buoyancy data calculated at the NASA Johnson Space Center. After earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Astronautical Engineering at MIT, Dr. Erickson attended Howard University, another HBCU, in Washington, D.C. She became the first African-American woman to receive a Ph.D. in Mechanical Engineering at Howard and the first female African-American to receive a doctorate in engineering from the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Her many honors include top 18 women who will change the world, women in science and engineering for engineering achievement, National Technical Association, top 50 minority women in science and engineering, NASA representative to the White House, and most recently in 2016, the prestigious Washington Award. Dr. Erickson has had an illustrious career as an aerospace engineer at NASA Goddard and is currently the Goddard manager of a federal program enabling small businesses in collaboration with universities to compete for technological opportunities that solve challenges. Erickson Jackson has always believed in a well-rounded life, partnering her career with an interest in sports, and she has said that, quote, you are more likely to succeed when you are well-rounded. A variety of activities helps a person grow and mature in other ways as well. And I love that quote, but I have another quote I want to read you guys as well, which is, the United States cannot afford to lose more than half of its talent and the fresh perspective that women and minorities can bring. Without diversity in all fields, the United States will not remain technically competitive. And that's for all the make American great again uh, niggas that don't realize that America is falling behind of its own accord because they're racist and sexist as fuck. Dr. April Erickson Jackson, a hidden figure. Peace.